What's up, everybody? Got us another card in here at the shop today. It's a club car. It is a 94 model. What we got is a horrible, horrible noise coming from the motor rear end area. Might help if I cut the key on. Yeah, I'd say that's super bad, uh, whatever is going on. Uh, of course, we're going to be taking the motor off of the rear end and checking that. Uh, we'll be taking the tires off and taking the drums off to make sure it's nothing, you know, inside of that in the braking area that might be causing that noise. Um, don't have any suspicions at this point because it's just too much noise to try to figure out where it's at by sound. So we're just going to start tearing into it and find out what's going on. Uh, we'll give you an update once we get it all tore apart and see what we find. What's up golf cart world? We we'll come at you today with a, a repair job. Uh, last time we, we were at this, um, we had the 94 <clears throat> club car, electric. It's old beauty right here. So once we got this rear end tore apart, there's one half, there's the other. Those cases do split apart, obviously. And here's your main gears. <clears throat> See all these pieces that fit together the little gear has, sits there and then obviously your two bigger gears are gonna sit together to create the drivetrain so what we found is that bearing right there had blown apart which is the input shaft and you can see that the bearing is gone except for the inner race um, we now know what's going on so in a case like this my suggestion is to just go ahead and replace all those bearings that come in, in the uh, axle bearings uh, the uh, bearing that that's basically like an idler bearing for that gear to sit in and then your outer bearing and then uh, these are your two big axle bearings here. Uh, I mean, yeah, they, they still spin, but you can hear, you know, that's pretty nasty. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't put those back in at all. Um, so if you're going to do this, you're going to take the time to do it, I would say just go ahead and, and let's replace all those bearings so that you know uh, that you're going to be sitting good for a long, long time. We use 30 weight straight 30 weight motor oil uh, because the idea is to keep it cool and lubricated uh, not conditioned there's no no sense in putting a conditioner in something that's not getting you know 250 60 degrees uh, you know if it's getting if it's getting anywhere near 100 degrees in there I'd be surprised so you know but you can do what you want to do um, I found that it had no fluid whatsoever in it so I busted it open you know, split the two cases apart and found that we had a blown out input shaft bearing. Now the input shaft is, is the shaft that you slide the motor onto. Um, they have both an inner and an outer bearing. And that's the reason why you have to split the cases open so you can get that inner bearing out because it won't come out with it when you pull the input shaft out. So this is what I found on the input shaft on the inner side um, <clears throat> it had just completely lost the balls and all out from inside of it this is what happens when you don't have fluid in it um, these bearings like I say you could probably get clean these up stick them in a parts washer and try and get the grit out of it that's built up between the the two races and the balls um, and then you could you know, like I said, I put some assembly lube in it. But in this case, um, this golf cart is used at uh, our local industrial park businesses. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, we went ahead and 
split it apart split the two halves apart here and uh, you know taking these bolts out of the axle tubes it'll slide right out axle and all both sides you don't have to disassemble none of this here all you do is pull these bolts out and then you'll pull these 10 millimeter bolts out here um, separate the cases and each bearing you know there's a bearing here there's a bearing here there's a bearing underneath this on both sides uh, and then there's a bearing that's in here where the input shaft is on the outside uh, and this one would be your inside uh, so we replaced all that and it's just as smooth as as a new one is now um, they got really lucky that it didn't tear up any gears or anything so um, yeah we're gonna be putting that bad boy back in later today and once we replaced all the bearing stuff in the rear end we still had a noise and we found that it's this motor that still does operate but it's super noisy see how noisy that was uh, you got to hear it there one good rotation so um, hopefully you'll be it'll help you understand that you might have a noise that comes from inside the motor so uh, we appreciate all you subscribers y'all just keep hitting that subscribe button uh, we're going to try to put out more videos you know uh, as, as often as we can so we want to thank everybody and uh, you guys have a great day